Hey guys, Papa Rooms here. Hopefully you're having a successful season. Now that you have your game down, you're gonna have to figure out what to do with it. I have a few videos if you need to learn how to field dress a deer, skin them. I'll be doing some more videos on that this year as well. This video here is gonna be how to preserve bear lard and we rendered it all down and we're using it cooking oil, baking, uh, waterproofing leather. Oh, so if you wanna learn that, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Next videos are gonna also be about how to preserve your meat by canning and jarring. So I'm gonna be doing uh, deer meat and bear meat to start, eventually I'll do moose meat and uh, small game as well. Last season, my buddy ended up killing his bear on opening day. I did not have a chance to render down the fat or cook the meat. So I'm going to pressure cook the meat and we're going to jar it up. I don't have a lot of meat. It's nice enough and kind enough to just give me a couple pieces. So I'm going to end up um, canning some of it. I want to see how it tastes jarred up. We cooked some of it already and I have the fat here, which really should be done right away. But again, I didn't have time and things got hectic and crazy. So here I am. It's still good. Nothing wrong with it. It's been in the freezer. I'm going to render it down. We're going to filter it out, jar it up. Bear fat, a pot, could be any kind of pot, frying pan. You don't have to have this, but this is a good funnel here. It might even be too big. And I'm going to be putting it, be pretty good, I think. We're going to put them in that um, piece of cheesecloth on top. You filter it through. You get the point. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you first the bear that my buddy got. Really healthy mountain bear eating a lot of nuts. Great marbling to the meat. Actually, better than great. I mean, you tell me what you think about it. But we cooked it. We ate it already. Phenomenal flavor. No gaminess. No stink. Better than beef. Tasted like pot roast, but better because I cooked it. Uh, flavored wise it was banging and um, you're gonna see how thick how much fat this bear really had so don't forget hunting's not about the kill yes it's about the meat yes it's about the traditions that are had and the most important part is the camaraderie of being together carrying on a tradition that's been going from the beginning of time passing it on to your children and that's what you're going to see a little bit of here. The laughs, the fun, being at hunting camp is like no other. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Here we go. What a bear, man. Congrats. Thanks. Hell yeah. That's nice. awesome. Okay, there we go. Oh! Hey! Hey, Salud. 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 Oh man, that's awesome. Good job. Well, we'll uh, scan it out, butcher it up. Very cool. Look at that marble. Oh man. We're gonna pull that fat off, we're gonna do some uh, cooking on it, try it out. I mean, that is like prime looking. Right here, I'm going to do some of the bear fat, and uh, it's usually, part, you can do a lot with this. My father used to get a lot of bear. He actually shot the New York State record bear in 75, um, and he used to always render down the fat here, use it for his boots to shine the leather and condition it. But I'm going to use it for cooking for a younger bear. This is a lot of fat content. Younger, that thing's probably 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, the biggest 600 pound bear I've ever seen in my life. How'd you get a back strap with that piece of fat? You took the top round, bottom round, and the back strap with that piece of fat. How'd you do that? <laughs> like, dude, check that out. You got like 10 pounds here. So I left it on so you can see. You have a good one inch thick of fat coming all the way through here and that's gonna be crucial look at that wow oh my god dude. That's, that's all fat that's all fat that's like a pig it's healthier for you it's wild and uh it's healthier than pork but it's comparable when you eat it to beef and pork digestion is actually very good you just gotta cook it thoroughly that's all okay Woo! All right, well, I'm gonna finish up here. We'll do a, I guess, clean and cook when I get back. So we got amazing fat, we have shoulder, we got some steaks and ribs, and uh, the rest is gonna age to hang. But we'll have a good video here. Thank you, I appreciate you letting me take some meat. So 
So the key is when you're doing this, the lard should be, well, frozen is good, um, cooled down is good, so it can uh, move and not get too gelatinous, but cube it up. Cut it up into cubes and then um, try to put the least amount of meat and put it in there. We'll get it going. All right, so that is a lot. This is gonna make a lot of oil, lard, grease, you name it. So I'm just gonna let this cook down with a pot. It'll melt everything, but they're all in cubes. Might even be too much here for this pot. We'll find out if I have to, I'll break down some. But I think we'll be filled pretty much to the top. Just gotta watch, cause it's extremely hot. But at the way bottom, it's all starting to already break down. Check that out, chicken, seafood, spaghetti with crab and garlic. We got some haddock, venison, rice and chili and beans, and venison steak, actually the neck. So we're gonna come check it What's out. What's good is I have a really low heat and it's just pretty much rendering down. Rendering means it emulsifies the fat until there's nothing left but a little piece of skin. The meat chunks will cook. That's what you're filtering out. Temperature is dropping. Smells amazing, that's for sure. It's starting to finally melt apart, rendering down. So say we start getting too much liquid here, all we'll do is just transfer some of it out. But I think we'll be okay, it's a big pot. And it smells good. Kinda wanna eat it now. That's why you can't go too hot. You go too hot, it'll burn before it, this'll burn before it actually renders. So you don't wanna do that. So now I'm just stirring up the bottom. You're already starting to get a lot of those chunks. Look how big that compared to like that one. That's how you render it. You just keep doing that over and over. Keep repeating it, keep stirring it. It ain't gonna stick because it's, uh, it could probably be burn it. Like that was meat, so it's cooking, but definitely gonna be dark here by the time we finish so uh, I'll do the best I can I might even have to bring it inside and we'll go that route all right well, it's starting to get dark as you can see well, I'm just turning it up I turn the heat up a little bit I want to see how it reacts if it's gonna burn it but it seems to be uh, rendering it quicker so that's good you don't want to go too high of the heat it'll burn it but I think we're at a pretty good uh, heat here the liquids about a little under halfway up if not halfway up so we have quite a bit coming in here. It's uh, looking pretty good. All right, well, look at this. Kick the heat up, and now it's all the way up here. Hot sear boil, looks good, right? So they make candles out of this. You can make, this is how they, bear fat was one of the biggest commodities out back in the day when they were big with trapping. They would do candles, they would do leather and wood. You could treat, waterproof it. Uh, treat it uh, Cooking baking is the best with bear with this bear lard. This is what they recommend number one uh, above that even All right, well, I'm gonna take this inside. I'm gonna finish up. As you can see, it's getting too dark. So for filming purposes, I'm not gonna be able to see. I'll finish it up inside, uh, maybe in the morning so you can see it. So we have the mason jars here. They're all cleaned out. And instead of using cheesecloth, we have this fine, fine mesh um, screen. It's super fine. So we're gonna try using that and see how that works out. Maybe that'll work out well. I'll put it here because this is starting to boil over and we don't want that. We want this to obviously to cook down, but they are significantly less than what they were. So it's gonna kind of skim the top. That's all oil and we'll just put it in. There's like a couple hairs here and there you'll get. And now we'll do a second passing and this will go through the 
cheesecloth before it goes in the jar. You don't have to do all that, but I'm gonna. So we're just trying to get some of this out so we can keep cooking it down. All right guys, so it's the next day. I'm already pressure cooking. You'll see that in the next video. And we're gonna be doing half pints here. That's what we're gonna fill them up with. These have been cleaned, taken care of. This is a lighter color. That's a darker color because it started getting lower down in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on top and we're gonna put cheesecloth in there to filter it out. All right, so I have that funnel and we're gonna begin close here here's the cheesecloth you don't even have to do this because once you put it it'll actually uh settle down into there so the cheesecloth is kind of like overkill most people probably would never put it i'm just gonna pull it like that so it, it won't fall off and i'll keep it there but i want to put it because i want to keep it as clean as possible in the jar the jars aren't like a large large jar so i can keep the lid here and we'll just uh, go ahead. And then it'll thicken over time. There you go, just like that. It. That's like two and a half of these ladles here. See how clean and clear, and it's still coagulating from or thickening from last night. So, So they're starting to come out beautiful. Look at that color. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. They should solidify in time. But the reason why I do this is I let it settle and all the burnt particles are at the bottom. Probably hard to tell, but not that that's a big deal because if you have them in the jar, they'll just settle down. Even though I did the screen and then I did the cheesecloth, it still had quite a bit. The problem with that is when you're frying with a high heat and a high temperature, those particles are going to burn and put out a lot of bad smoke and flavor in your food. So that's the reason why I'm getting them out. Uh, not to mention once in a while you'll get hair. The hair won't cook out, so that'll catch that too. All right. So we are all finished. They're all canned up. And they look good. They look really good. This one's like the prime, that was the first take. Then this one's cooked down a little more. So I'm not too, uh, it had a bit of a burn smell. I kind of burned it a little bit more, but nevertheless, I'm still gonna use it. And uh, I'll just try to separate them out, dark from light. And I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like, leave a comment. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos within this playlist and uh, check out my playlist. There's a lot of content here and uh, maybe you'll find something that you like. Take care. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.